The uh, Christmas tale of Scrooge and the sunshine of Thailand couldn't be more different, but both inspired the songs of our next guests. The British band Honey Rider spent a month on the beach writing their second album, Marley's Change. The band are all here now. Lindsay, Jason and Matt. Very good morning to you all. Good morning. Uh, we'll chat in just a moment. Let's have a look first at your material. Thanks. As you know, the band are all here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? Great. This We're is, here. We're on the sofa. This is your kind of world, isn't it? Can I just ask, because you used to work in television, didn't I did. you? I did. There's various names for what I used to do. I was a script supervisor or a gallery P PA. Right. They call it an AD in America, assistant director, which I prefer. Okay. But no, that's that's their PA. better name, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, but yeah. you know all about the mechanics of what's going on, because you were being very curious I talk, just Yeah, now. I talk in your ears and tell you to shut up. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's but not today. Not yeah, no. today. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, first of all, the name Honey Rider, because if anybody Googles Honey Rider, it's a, it's a James Bond character, isn't it? Yeah, first she of all. Was very famous. Yeah, it was Ursula Andress who walked out of the, uh, in the sea in that bikini. sexy bikini with a knife um, and uh, singing something about mango trees, I think. I can't remember what the song was. But yeah, she was called Honey Rider. And it's Rider with a Y. If you put an I in, you get a different website, so be okay. careful. Okay. Ah. <laughs> um, uh, I hate to ask people to sort of analyse their own music because it's a horrible question. But it's, I mean, people have heard a little bit there. It's quite a mellow, it's quite a sort of mellow feel to it. Would that be fair? Yeah, I'd say yeah, it's mellow. Is that all right? It's quite different from the rest of the album, that track. Okay, yeah. in what way? That's got a bit of a Nashville twist to it. Um, it's written in Nashville, but um, the rest of the album's got a bit of folk in, a bit of rock, but it's mostly pop. Mellow. And we mentioned in the lead in Jason that some of it written in different places. Is that how? So we said some of it written on the beach. Yes. Can, yes. You, can you literally discern the yes. difference from the, <laughs> what it, we hear? Some in Acton, though. Some so, in yeah, Acton. Lower Acton. We yeah. call it LA, Lower Acton. <laughs> okay. some, some in Acton, some in Thailand, a little bit in Nashville. So it's kind of all around the world, really. It's amazing mm. how it's all. How come the together. Thailand link? How did you, how did you go and record that? Kind of that? guinea pigs for a studio out there. So we were invited out there to work in the studio and we spent about six weeks there yeah. it was all in all yeah and yeah writing and recording and then and after that we got invited out to Nashville um, by Lady Antebellum's producer um, and he fixed us up with some fantastic songwriters out there and we had an amazing time we we're out there for a few weeks and wrote and that's that's where Marley's, Marley's Chains came about I wrote with a guy called Emerson Hart mm -hmm. on his ranch and uh, <laughs> the vibe was very chilled and relaxed so that's probably why that song, you know, has that feeling. The rest of the album is pop with sort of, you know, different leanings towards rock and um, and, and folk. Um, some people people have described it as a Fleetwood Mac type sound. That's exactly so. what I said this morning. You didn't said the I? Same I said thing, Stevie Nicks. That's exactly what it reminded me. Oh, that's a compliment. Thank well, you. that can't be a bad thing. I'd like it? to sell as many albums as they have. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice. Yeah. Um, and Marley's Chains. It's what? It's a Dickens reference, is it? It is. It's a reference to Jacob Marley, the character in, in uh, A Christmas Carol. And I, I read about it and I just suddenly thought the concept of uh, regret and how, um, you, how sometimes it weighs around your, um, I can't think I say, it, weigh, weighs you down, it stops you from moving on. And so I was thinking of how different ways of coping me mechanisms to, to deal with having remorse. Um, and the song is supposed to be melodically quite uplifting and it's saying that it, it, even if you do have regret, there are ways of moving forward and coping with it. So. Now, in terms of the, the, the vibe of the band, I know it's, it's changed a bit over the years and people yeah. who've followed you over time will know that. Yes. So how, how do you see those changes? Um, 
Well, we, we, I wrote the first album with a very good friend of mine called Martin Schoen and he was in the band and Jason was with us as well at that point. Um, and we met all sort of on the London circuit gigging. Um, and, but Martin unfortunately had to leave for personal reasons. Um, he still remains a very good friend and he's written on this album as well. And Matt joined recently. Um, and uh, yeah, so that, that's how it is now. We're all, uh, we're still great friends with Martin. He came to a gig recently and uh, yeah, it's all, yeah, all moving forward. And I understand uh, one of the songs is the soundtrack of an, of an American TV series, is that right? Yeah, Body of Proof. Um, it's uh, what Dana Delaney, who used to be in Desperate Housewives, yeah. she's got a show called Body of Proof. And a guy in LA mixed, our, mixed Marley's Chains, and he said, do you mind if, we give, if I give this track to someone at ABC, because they need a track, and uh, I think they'll like it. And we were no, we don't mind at all. <laughs> Carry do on. It now. And uh, yeah, and so and so it's it got used. Well, it's a nice. brilliant way of getting. I mean, for a band mm. to have your music used either in the movies or in a yeah. TV series now is a huge way of you know just drawing attention to Massively. your mm. your product, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and especially in America as well, which is great because a lot of people have said that our music, um, you know, I think it would be well received in America as well. So we hope we hope so. Um, so there's the the album's out now. Are you going to tour it as well? Are you going? Yes. Yeah, we're doing we're doing various gigs, aren't we? Um, yeah, I've got. Hop Farm coming up in June. Yeah. It's the 30th of June, isn't it? That one? Not sure. I'll have a look on the I website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as <laughs> someone knows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you ask us. When, you, just, you said when you first came in um, that you weren't a great cook and you got a child. Uh, yes. So how, how's that, how does that work with gigging with a small child as well? Is that. Well, I do that thing does where. She, you, does she stay at home or does she come with you? Um, a little boy called boy, Max. Sorry. Yeah. No, he's actually here. He's up in Salford. He's, uh, he's in the room at the moment having his breakfast. On his mum own. And dad. <laughs> well, he was locked in a couple. No, not really. Uh, no, he, he's with mum and dad. Um, um, and uh, he probably isn't watching it. He's probably watching Eagle Piggle mm. on, on CBBC. Good, you know. good choice. Yeah. That's where yeah. I'd be, actually. But what does he do? Will he go on tour with you then? Or? Yeah. Oh, he'll be on the road, for Brilliant. sure. He's going to be a, yeah, a tour baby. He'll have to get good. used to it. He'll have to be versatile. So. Nice to see you this morning. I like it when there's one quiet one. <laughs> Matt, he's, the he's, the, he's the quiet one on the end. But he's the most interesting. He keeps alpacas and breeds them. So. Do you? I do, yeah. What kind of alpacas? <laughs> what kind? They're two different kinds, aren't they? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think you pronounce it Hakaya. Hakaya. Oh, yeah. Okay, not, right. Not, not the Siri. Where are they, your alpacas? They're at home. Where's that? Um, <laughs> in Stoke on Trent. They don't travel. They're not in your yeah. hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> With out the in the back garden, not in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for coming this morning. Thanks nice for having you. us. Cheers. Yeah, lovely Brilliant. to see you. Uh, Honey Rider single, Marley's Chains, is out on Monday. The album is going to be out in July. Thanks for coming to see us.